Hey everyone, welcome back to Quick Learn Engineering. Today we are diving into a super important topic in the world of computing, the implementation levels of virtualization. Whether you are into cloud computing, system design or just curious how virtual machines and containers work, this video is for you. ISA level virtualization. Let's start with instruction set architecture level virtualization or simply ISA level. This is the most flexible form of virtualization. Imagine running an old game made for a different type of computer on your modern system. That's what ISA level lets you do. It emulates a guest CPU architecture on a totally different host. This is done using code interpretation or something called dynamic binary translation. The downside, it's slow because every instruction has to be translated. Think of it like using Google Translate on every sentence before speaking. Effective but slow. Hardware abstraction level virtualization. Next is hardware abstraction level virtualization, the heart of full virtualization. This level uses a hypervisor like VMware, Zen or KVM to virtualize physical resources, CPU, memory and storage. It gives each OS its own virtual machine. It's super powerful and flexible. You can run multiple operating systems on one physical machine, but it's also complex to manage and configure. OS level virtualization. Now let's talk about something you've definitely heard of, containers. Operating system level virtualization means running multiple isolated user spaces, like Docker containers on a single OS. All containers share the same OS kernel, which means they are super fast and efficient. Great for microservices and cloud native apps. But here's the catch. All containers must use the same OS type. Library support level virtualization. Now we are getting into something more specific. Library support level virtualization. This means virtualizing at the API level between your app and the OS. One example, Wine, which lets you run Windows apps on Linux. It's lightweight with less overhead than full virtualization. But not all apps work perfectly. Some may crash or behave weirdly. Also used in GPU virtualization, like with vCUDA. User application level virtualization. And finally, the most familiar for many developers, user application level virtualization. Here, we virtualize just the application, not the whole system. Examples, Java Virtual Machine, JVM and .NET CLR. They let apps run anywhere, regardless of the system underneath. These are easy to deploy, portable and great for sandboxing. But the isolation isn't as strong as system level virtualization. So let's quickly recap all five levels. ISA level, emulate CPU architecture. Hardware level, full virtualization using a hypervisor. OS level, container sharing one kernel. Library level, virtualizes APIs for apps. Users application level, sandboxed, portable apps like Java or Net. 